Sarah Oates here with Divi Space and in this video we're going to be looking at how you can put a Divi layout above your main navigation bar. So within Divi there's not a lot of room for you to be able to modify, change your navigation bar and it's certainly not easy to do anything above your main navigation bar. You get the option to put a phone number, an email address and a few social media icons but even if you want to expand those social media icons you have to start getting a little trickier. Now with Page Builder Everywhere, what you can do is make any layout and put it above. So think of a few use cases. What if you want to have a sale and you want to have straight away when people come to your website, you want to show a sale is going on and send them to your main shop page. Or what if you just want to make your navigation bar look way better with more options? You can do both of those things. So we're going to have a look at that now. All right, so here you can see we've got one of our layout packs, the cleaning services layout pack, and I've just turned the header into a really simple navigation bar, pretty stock standard for Divi. And now what we want to do is we want to put on a sale. So come into the back end under widgets, and then you can see page builder everywhere above the header. And we're going to drag this one here, Divi page builder everywhere widget. Put that in there and then go and look for your layout. So what I'm using is some um, Page Builder Everywhere bars that are available to you. And so we're going to use this Halloween sale one here and untick the title and then click save. And it's that easy. All of a sudden, you got a sale going on. Now, of course, you're going to make need to make a few changes. You're going to need for, to change where this button goes, for example. And you may even want to change the colors. Now, for this particular layout kit, these colors look perfect. And if you were having a Halloween sale for a cleaning service company, I don't know why you would be, but you know, I'm guessing you've got a shop if you're having a sale of some sort, but you might want to edit how this looks. So the way to do that is we go into theme options under Divi library and then click that. And now we're going to go and look for our bar. So I happen to know that our bar is sitting on the second page here. And as you can see here, Halloween sale. Now you just click on edit and then you can start making changes to that bar. So we've got our bar text here and then we've got our coupon code button. And as you can see here, if we click on that, then you can change this text here. So if you're wanting to have a coupon code, for example, but then you can also still have it as a link. So you might want it to go to your shop page and you can just really simply put the URL in for where you're wanting to send them. You may want to change the background. So that's going to be here in this section. And you might not want to have the image, for example, and you might want to change that out to a color. You can just delete that out and then change out the color to whatever color is going to fit your branding. Um, and that is as simple as it is. Now, the other thing I want to show you is what if you want to make the header look just a little bit cooler. So if we go down to the next one, header contact purple. Now this one was header contact red, but I edited it. And then we click save. And then we're going to refresh this. And then all of a sudden you're showing heaps more options. So we've got some social media icons. Of course, you could replace this with your logo image. And so then we could remove this logo, for example, have the logo up there and then maybe center align this navigation. And that's going to look really fabulous. Or another example here, we've got header contact black. So if we save that one and refresh out this page and all of a sudden, you've got heaps more options for people to be seeing as they come to your website. So whatever you can come up with in your mind, you're going to be able to create now. So you can go and look around at the internet and see what other people are doing above their navigation bar. You, as long as you can try and build that with the Divi Builder then and save it into your library, then you're going to be able to put that above. Now, the one thing to keep in mind with this is that if you have a static navigation bar, so as you can see, as I scroll, this doesn't go anywhere. This is not going to disappear. So the one thing to note about that is if you're going to have a really deep um, section here, then you just might want to turn off the static navigation. So the way to do that is go Divi, theme options, and then this little toggle here. So if we get rid of fixed navigation bar and save, then when we come back here, even though this is a really um, tall section, it's not going to be an issue now because we're going to see it. And then as we scroll up, it's just going to disappear. So just keep in mind that you might want to keep it as a really thin section if you're going to have the static navigation bar, but otherwise you can just have it so it disappears as you scroll up as well. Hope this has been a really useful video and we will see you in the next one.